Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. I am so very glad that you have joined me here on the beach today to do some measuring. Today's learning goal is to measure with a ruler to the nearest inch. And we're going to do some centimeters as well. So if you have a ruler, I would like for you to find it and get it out and do some measuring along with me. Let's find some fun things to measure. Class before, we have done some measuring with tiles. And we took some items and we measured how tall they were and how wide or long they were. Today, we're not going to be using tiles. Instead, we are going to be using a ruler. And we're going to be using the side of our ruler that goes to 12. That measures inches. A lot of rulers have a side that goes all the way to 30, and those are centimeters. And we can use both of them for measuring. Centimeters are smaller than our inches, and today we're going to be practicing measuring with inches. Well, we're going to measure some things that we measured before with our tiles, but this time we're going to measure it with inches. When we measure, we make sure that the end of our item starts right at the zero. And then we measure all the way along and we find the closest inch. This is 11 inches. Hmm. Do you remember before when we measured it, we measured it with our tiles and we found out that it was, well, I'm not going to tell you how many tiles it was long. Let's measure it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> it was eleven inches and eleven tiles long. That's because our tiles are one inch long. So our ruler measures twelve inches. And that's how long our tiles are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. An inch is about the same size as one of our tiles. Hmm. Well, what else can we measure with our ruler? Last time we measured this piece of paper. Let's try measuring that again. When we measure with our ruler, we start at our zero point and then we measure all along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches. This paper is nine inches long. If I wanted to measure how tall this was, I would start at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six inches tall. I'm going to get my marker out. Today, I would like for you to practice. Um, measuring with items. This is one, two, three, four, well, five and a little bit. We're measuring to the closest inch. This marker is closer to the five than it is to the six. So I'll say it's about five inches long. <gasps> Let's for fun see how many centimeters it is. Centimeters is on the other side and they're a little bit smaller. We start here at the zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, not quite fourteen, but it's about thirteen centimeters long. Let's try my favorite book again. We are going to measure this first in inches. We Put the end of our ruler right beside the end of the item we're going to measure. We go all along and see, oh, it is closest to nine inches. It's nine and a little bit. What about centimeters? I'm going to flip my ruler around. We start at zero and it goes all the way to 23, 23 centimeters. Class, I have found a little piece of wood here on the beach and I'm going to measure it. I'm going to start it right here on the end of our ruler and see that we start at the end or at the zero. One, two, three, four, five. This is about five inches long. 
I also found many rocks, but we'll try measuring this one. We start here on the end and see that it is one, two, three inches long. I would like for you to find lots of fun things to measure today. Class, thank you so very much for measuring with me today. I hope that you had fun here with me on the beach measuring with a ruler to the nearest inch. And I want you to find some fun things to measure today. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.